What's going on people, my name is Batman, and Visceral Games recently stirred a bit of controversy when they released the first 12 minutes of campaign footage for Battlefield Hardline, revealing that the primary antagonist was a racist. Now people were quick to accuse them of stereotyping the Tea Party. Now at first, uh, I didn't think much of this claim because people were basing this off the fact that he was a racist, and I'm thinking, hey, if you're assuming this guy is a character of the Tea Party just because he's a racist, then you're the one doing the stereotyping. But then when I looked a little deeper into it, you know, there is a pretty clear indication that this is, in fact, uh, a member of the Tea Party, this super racist bad guy. In the campaign mission, there is a scene where you pass through this guy's office or something, and he has a Gadsden flag hung up. For those of you who don't know, that's that yellow flag with the rattlesnake on it, and the motto inscribed on it is, Don't Tread on Me. I think this is a pretty explicit reference to the Tea Party. You know, some people are claiming it's not like the Tea Party invented the Gadsden flag after all, but at this point, if you pay attention to American politics, it's pretty clear that the Tea Party has adopted the Gadsden flag, uh, and they certainly own that catchphrase, you know, don't tread on me, it's one of their rallying cries. And then of course, you know, throughout the mission, the main bad guy's on the speakers talking about how this country has gone to shit, and then one of the protagonists talks about how he went crazy after we got a black president. Now, I don't think this is necessarily representative uh, of the entire Tea Party, but these bits of monologue certainly fit uh, a familiar line of thought or character, perhaps somewhat over-exaggerated character of the Tea Party uh, among Americans who maybe align on the left side of the political spectrum. And going forward, my question is right now, how aggressively are they going to drive that point home? Is this campaign going to include a sort of commentary on American politics? Because they're certainly going to have to walk a fine line, just like I have to do with this commentary. Uh, personally, I found it kind of comical, but that's obviously because I'm not a tea partier. You know, from what I saw in the comments section, there were quite a few people pretty pissed off about the portrayal. Uh, and this is incredibly interesting to me. You know, it's been a long time since I saw a game, you know, basically not do everything in its power, not to offend anyone for any reason. And I guess along those lines, I commend them for being ballsy, but at the same time, I'm concerned that whatever political commentary is included might end up being really dumb, if it's included at all, because it kind of seems off to a dumb start, if you ask me. And I wonder if they'll make a joke about teabagging, you know, I feel like they're set up perfectly for that. Now, I'm assuming they focus group tested this shit, like they wouldn't try to offend an entire political movement on purpose, unless they were confident that said political movement wasn't buying their games anyways, and there's probably some truth to that. We know that the Tea Partiers tend to be up there in age, probably not huge gamers, uh, but there is a mistake that I think they might have made a bit of miscalculation that's going to come back to bite them in the ass. Even people who aren't tea partiers, but no tea partiers, or are friends with tea partiers, or who have parents or grandparents who are tea partiers, I have an uncle for instance, who aligns with the tea party, might get offended at the somewhat over-exaggerated racism. It's often that you can piss someone off ten times more by going after their family than if you had just gone after them. And now that I know they aren't afraid to tackle socially relevant political commentary, I think that the cops vs. robbers theme is extra extra stupid, and that's why I'm worried that whatever political commentary in this campaign there is might end up being really dumb. Shouldn't have been a cops versus robbers thing. They should have done domestic warfare, alright? The Tea Party would have fit this plotline perfectly. The name itself, Tea Party, is based on the first act of true domestic open rebellion by the American colonists uh, against England. You know, they talk quite often about open rebellion, and they've called for civil disobedience on more than one occasion. One of their primary arguments for gun rights is that they feel they might have to turn those guns on the American military at some point. And you remember after Obama got re-elected, remember they sent in all those petitions and like they got 50,000 from each state, and it was like every state that voted for Romney sent in petitions to secede from the, the Union. Remember that? So, you know, they, they would fit a, a sort of open rebellion faction very well. Um, and what's really strange is that at the exact same time you have this rebellious movement coming on the scene, we also have a very concerning buildup of a militarized police force that nowadays looks and acts like an occupying military. They roll up to peaceful protests with tanks and armored cars and such. And what I think would have been so cool is if they had done a campaign centered around a fictional Tea Party rebellion against the fictional police state. You know what I'm saying? Just like, take these two real-life factions and take them to their most exaggerated extremes. You know what I mean? That would have been pretty cool. 
But what would have been great about this campaign is it could have explored the arguments and counter-arguments of both sides. Safety versus freedom. What's rational, what's irrational. They could have explored the potential hazards of each side's dominance, the potential benefits of each side's dominance. They could have even let the player ultimately choose a side. They could show us just how creepy the ultimate realization of a modern day US civil war would be. It would have been a great platform for some in-depth political commentary regarding contemporary philosophical developments, and people would actually take that theme seriously, whereas it seems like most of the community sees the cops and robbers fantasy as a silly joke. And they could have had the Tea Party militia using baseball bats to break necks and fucking cops arresting militia members because they're still Americans and you don't want to kill the Americans unless you have to. There would be plenty of rationale to include tanks and other heavy military grade machinery and weaponry into the mix and they could have given a first hand look of just how militarized the American police have become. Like check out this fucking Amtrak rolling down the streets of a town with a population under 5,000. This is in real life too. How does that make you feel? Does that scare you or provide you with a sense of security? Anyways, please feel free to start some nonsensical fights about politics in the comments section and let me know how all you motherfuckers are feeling about the campaign. Does it offend you? Do you think it's cool? Don't you wish they'd done it my way instead? And all that good stuff. And please be sure to rate the video. This is Batman signing out.